Hi, this is Judy Marino. This brief two-minute video will introduce you to the resources available via the Learning Commons website. You'll find a link to us on CM Connect, also on the CMCC webpage underneath Academics. Once here, you'll notice a bunch of resources in the middle of the screen. These are a lot of the things that you would use to start your college-level research here at CMCC. This first tab, called Books and More, will start you searching our catalog, Minerva. If we were to search here, you'd look through the 8,000 titles that we have on our shelves. If you didn't find what you needed here, you could always switch to all the Minerva locations at the top here and search the 60 libraries that comprise Minerva. You also have the option of searching all the libraries in MainCat, which is pretty much all the libraries throughout the state. When you find something at another library, all you need to do is request it using the barcode on the back of your CMCC ID. The item will be shipped here within a matter of days, you'll be notified via email, and you can pick up the items in the Learning Commons. ProQuest, EBSCO, and Gale are collections of databases most commonly used to search for magazine and journal articles. To use these from home, you'll be asked for your CMCC ID number. CQ Researcher contains thousands of reports on current topics. This is often a good place to start your research or to get some ideas for paper topics. Credo Reference is like Wikipedia except the articles in here are written by experts and they're published in encyclopedias and dictionaries. The Digital Main Library is a collection of resources made available to all Maine residents. It used to be called Marvel. If we scroll down, you'll find a link to A to Z databases. This is a comprehensive list of everything available to you. As you can see, there are many databases to choose from, and the list is quite daunting. So to help you pick the best database for your topic, go to the top, where it says All Subjects, and then pick the subject that best matches your topic. You can search databases individually this way. Another way to start your research would be to start searching either EBSCO or ProQuest as they're comprehensive collections with many databases within each interface. For example, if we pick this ProQuest link and start a search, we'll be searching across over 30 of the databases listed on the A to Z list all at once. And as you can see, there's over 2 million results here. Further down on the Learning Commons homepage, you'll find specific resources we're highlighting. The R2 Digital Library has hundreds of electronic books covering nursing, allied health, medical assisting, and physical fitness. All you need to use these from home is your student ID number. Cloud Library has over 11,000 ebooks and e audiobooks that you can check out. These are the kinds of popular books found in bookstores like Books a Million and Bards and Noble. To use this from home, you'll be asked for your barcode number on the back of your student ID. You'll download the Cloud Library app, and then you'll create your own personal login. ProQuest eBook Central is another large collection of eBooks. Getting to these is simple from home. It's, again, your CMCC student ID number. The books in this collection are more academic and scholarly in nature than the ones found in Cloud Library. They would be another good place to start your research. Closer to the bottom of the page, you'll find this link to full digital access to the New York Times. To get started, sign up from a computer on campus with this link. You'll be asked to pick CMCC from the list of schools and provide your email address. Over here, on the scrolling menu, there's a link to Appointment Plus. This is where you can schedule tutoring in the math, science, or the writing centers. You can also find information about individual tutors here as well. 
A bunch of quick links at the top of the screen allow you to see what you have checked out or on hold in your Minerva account. If you need to reserve the Learning Commons conference room, you can do it from this link. This is a link to library guides, which guide you to suggested resources for each subject or major you're studying. Noodle Tools is a citation generator, which is helpful when creating your APA and MLA citations. Last but not least, we offer a variety of drop-in workshops all through the semester. No sign-up is necessary, and if you come to one of them, you could learn anything from how to format your paper in APA style to navigating the Cloud Library collection. If you have any questions at all, please contact us. We'd be happy to hear from you.